What's up, everybody? It's your boy Z Man here to bring you part 15 of our Let's Play of the Cave. In the last part, we finished up the, uh, the our little sun. thing with okay, the time traveler, the knight, and this. the monk. And now we're going to be moving on to three new adventurers. The this time we're going to play down. with. Shut the up, Cave. Scientist. She is on the cusp of a great discovery for all of humankind, and a hundred million lives hang in the balance. So the first one we're going to be picking up is the scientist. We'll go take her and grab the crowbar. Uh, the scientist is an interesting uh, whole little thing. I don't know. She's got a whole weird thing going on about her. Her special power is mathematician skills. I guess we'll figure Ooh, out eventually the adventurer she is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure but not necessarily in that order so number two is going to be the adventurer and our final person the Billy on this fine night he searches for his true love but does desire burn too brightly in his heart this is the hillbilly okay so, um, like I said, I'm not going to show off, like, this first part again. It's going to be, it's the exact same thing as before. So, I'll meet you over in the hillbillies section. Alright, so we're here. We're ready. We're right next to the hillbillies section here. So, as soon as we drop down, we'll find ourselves in it. Mmm, that sweet smell of cotton candy and roller coaster vomit can mean only one thing... The carnival is in town. And you know what these three would love even more than going to the carnival? Sneaking into the carnival. Oh, come on, there's no shame in it, really. It's a victimless crime. Unlike the crime about to be committed by someone who shall remain nameless. But it rhymes with Bill Hilly. The Bill Hilly. That evil thing. All right, so the hillbilly's special ability is that he can hold his breath for a really long time. So he's actually the only one that can make it all the way over here to the carnival. Everyone else would just uh, drown, so don't want that to happen. Let's go ahead and dynamite this, allowing our good friends to get over to the other side as well. You guys coming? I think you guys want to come this way, because this is the right place to come to. So, this is the carnival. Uh, there's a whole little story here about how the hillbilly is trying to find his true love. Of course, his true love just happens... Oh, wait, I need that postcard. There, I think there's an achievement if you take the postcard all the way through the game. So, I'm going to try to do that on this run. Now, let's keep dropping down. Here's the carnival. Ooh, there she is, the amazing two-legged lady. You know, the hillbilly carries a torch for her. Uh, if only she would finally notice him. They could marry and live happily ever after with a house full of little Bill Hillies. Ugh. The amazing two-legged lady. Does she have like three eyes? What the hell? Okay, so we can clearly see she wants a teddy bear. How do we get a teddy bear? The pink bear hanging in that prize booth looks remarkably like what the amazing two-legged lady desires most. Perhaps the hillbilly can win enough tickets to buy it for her. Then this adorable story can have its happy ending. So we need to win five tickets in order to get the pink bear in order to get the amazing two-legged lady. That's what this entire story is about. All right. First ticket. I've done part of this. You steal one from a little kid. That was simple enough. Place it in the ticket taker. Four left. All right. I've done part of this. Oh, poor kid. I, I, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I'm a mean old lady. <laughs> You should just feel horrible doing this stuff. All right, this one over here is an easy one. All we need is someone to knock us into the dunking booth, like so. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab our. Oh, she can't grab a ticket. Crap. Uh, can you safely get your way out of here? Good. All right. Let's go on up. Ooh, and find an adventurer's picture. Let me show you the adventurer's pictures. We got the glory of discovery, and now hanging all... Hogging all the fame. Of course she did. Ah, the adventurers are mean, just like everyone else in this freaking game. Everyone desires something. It seems that she desires the fame. 
from, you know, just doing everything correctly. All right, where's this ticket taker? Three tickets left, and then the bear will be ours. All right, these next three tickets are a little bit harder to get. The first two tickets are obviously quite easy. Next one's a little bit harder. I'm gonna look around and see what we've got to work with. Step right up and have your weight gears. If I'm wrong, you get a ticket redeemable for a prize you desire okay. most. My best guess is 138. Right again. Good guess. Okay, so the Barker is always going to get your weight right, no matter what you do. Uh, he has impeccable. Take your chance with Lady Luck. Spin the wheel and guess the color. If you're right, you win a ticket. Pick green. Let's see if we win. And the color green. Is... Damn you. Blue. Nobody and likes you, Barker. Time. Obviously, these are all going to be quite rigged against us. Ooh, a sledgehammer. I need that. I need that sledgehammer for the, uh... The, the, the pounding game. What is that called? The hammer game? I got a wrench and a generator truck. Well, let's turn off the power to something. I don't know what I turned off. I don't think people are happy. Sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm gonna. I'll turn back on the generator truck. Turn, turn, turn on. Turn on the generator. Okay, I'm. There we go. Finally. Hooray! I saved the carnival. You're welcome, people. Okay, how do I get up to that sledgehammer? We don't want to go this way. Go back over to the wait guess machine game, or I think this is it. Exotic clothed dancers. Uh, it's like the worst kind of dancers. Got a bunch of carnies in the way here. My sledgehammer. How do I get the carnies out of the way? All right, so there's an empty fuse box that needs a fuse, obviously. Wow, there's a lot of stuff you have to work with here. Ah, oh, the world's strongest man, and a barbell. I've actually tried this. Uh, if you take the barbell with you to the weight machine, he'll know how much the weight machine goes. It's Avatar, past, present, future, okay. This is one of the harder ones, harder games to figure out. And harder puzzle games to figure out. I think. Magnifico the Magnificent will now dazzle your mind with the most amazing disappearing act ever performed. Pay close attention to the cupcake on the pedestal. Paying by attention, the bro. Dark powers invested in me by the county of Rutherford and the surrounding unincorporated areas. I pronounce you disappear. Wow. Back by popular demand, Magnifico the Magnificent will perform an encore. Do it again, dude. Just freaking turn the barbell invisible so that the Barker doesn't get my guess my weight right. Thank you. Give me Thank back you. the weight. Please All right, so now I weigh, I believe it's like 50 pounds more, and he's gonna guess incorrectly because he cannot see the weight. Better thin, I can guess your weight with that. Zero. Your weight is exactly 138. I win again. Hey. And that's not possible. I always guess right. This carnival game is now closed while we investigate the tampering with our tampering. <laughs> Please leave. I at least get a ticket. All right, so we beat the carnival. We beat that guy. We only got two tickets left to get. And those are not easy tickets to grab. I just need to figure out how to get past the carnies in order to get that sledgehammer in order to use the uh, bell game. Ah, <sighs> this one right here. Oh, my strength is not tested well enough. All right. Uh, I need a plan. I need a plan. I need a plan. So we got the generator. We got Zavtar, the magnificent thingamajigger. What is my other... Okay, we got the barbell that will give us one. Oh, and the color picking machine. How do I... How do I rig a color picking machine? Good question. The Wheel of Misfortune. It's obviously not going to land on whatever I want it to, so... Maybe that's what the fortune teller is supposed to do. Where can I get a uh, fuse? I need a fuse. 
I can turn off the... Can I turn this off? Not without the wrench, I can't. I need the wrench again. Crap. Should have saw that coming a mile away. This way... Hmm. I wonder... What's up here? Let's see what this, uh carnival ride is supposed to be about. Thanks, Barbell Man. You helped me out a lot. Alright. No, I was... I'm trying to ride the ride. Let me ride the ride, if you would please. There we go. What's up here? Oh, this is probably where I can get the fuse, right? Or this. This works too. I actually like this just as well. Discovery of unlimited pa Wow. That's impressive. So we did her theoretical research, her experimental research, and she found the unlimited power discovery. Nice. Alright. There's gotta be something else up here for me to grab. There it is, another fuse. Gonna need that. Ow! Okay, so I need to turn off the generator in order to get the fuse. Then I can put the fuse into the other fuse, and then everything good will happen to me. Let's go ahead and take this wrench. Nope, not that way. We need to get up to the generator first. <coughs> and I'm running out of time to do this in this part. It's going to be really close. It's going to be really close. Don't worry. I'll make it. Will misfortune, you will be misfortuned yourself. Because I'm going to correctly answer the color because you won't be able to... I don't know how this is going to work. I think I have to use the future, past, present, future guide to foretell what color I'm supposed to pick next. Generator off. Good. Shut up, people. Nobody likes you. Bunch of hillbillies. Coming from a guy who actually lives in a state with a lot of rednecks. I mean, crap, Larry the Cable Guy is from, like, an hour away from where I live. Alright, now, where was that generator? I need the generator. Come here. The man of ordin- the extraordinary man of ordinary strength. Is that what it said? Climb back up. Climb. Okay, we need to drop the wrench first of all. Now climb back up, and then we go. Let's take another ride on the Ferris wheel. I always love riding Ferris wheels. I mean, they're slow enough. It doesn't make you too sick or anything like that. Not like I get sick on rides or anything. But sometimes, you know, after a day of riding... Really? Where... Is the, what does the generator do? I turned off the generator right- Oh, someone else needs to turn off the generator. Okay, okay. I think I get- I think I catch the drift here. I need to go turn off the generator while uh, she grabs the fuse at the same time. However, she's grabbing- she's holding the postcard. I want to hold on to that postcard as long as I can. Hopefully, sh hopefully the uh, adventure doesn't need to actually pick up anything. If that's the case, We'll get out of this just fine. Come on, hillbilly. You know how to work a wrench. Just like the scientist apparently did. I think the scientist would have trouble whole using a wrench correctly. I don't know. They're usually not very uh, mechanically inclined. Unless you're an engineer. Engineers are good at using uh, stuff like that. That's got to be smart as crap. If only I was good enough to get and be an engineer. Damn it, I need the wrench first. You know what? I'll grab the wrench in the next part. I'm going to cut the part off right here, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see all of you guys next time.